ETA on the choppers at least half an hour, Captain Bryce. No good. We'll be corpses for ten minutes by then. Every ultra-nationalist psycho in Zakayev's pocket is about to show up on our doorstep, coming to claim all that's hard. Or what's left of them. Right. We'll set charges along Phase Line Alpha on the Southern Hill. And more along Phase Line Bravo. We'll delay them all the way back to the top and hold our ground at the extraction point in the fields around the farm. Any questions? Let's do this. Hey boys and girls, welcome back. Call of Duty 4. This is the mission where everything hits the fan and my monitor is way too close to me. Alrighty. That's a little better. This is the mission... This mission's insane. This is one of the more frustrating missions on Veteran. This mission on Veteran is probably the second or third toughest mission. As a whole, no fighting in the war room I think is above and beyond the hardest mission on Veteran in this game. I would throw shock and awe in just because the part where you have to get the pilot is struggling in a lot of situations, because a lot of people try to hide for safety when the best course of action is just to literally run. So. Yeah, this mission is definitely up there, because the amount of having to run by the enemies, even though that's actually probably the easiest way to beat this mission on Veteran, is once you get retreated all the way to the top of the hill again, you uh, just run down the left side of the map, and you can get to the bottom of the map pretty simply. I'll show you that whenever we're on the outside looking in. Which seems like a little bit of cheese that you can just do that and completely negate the entire thing the developers wanted to do. But, I mean, hey. I am trying, but there's not a way to spool the minigun. There's like no way to spool the minigun, either that or I don't have a keybind for it. I remember them coming from more... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, they have to come from, like, over there at some point. Oh, we don't need it, man. Just shoot him down. Why? Like, the helicopters are gone. We're safe. We're safe as hell. Whatever, up the steps we go. So, use the detonators. There's four of them in the tavern. Move! Using these doesn't really matter. Like, honestly, they don't really matter. They don't really make a lot of difference. It's a set piece, and even if you kill nobody with these, you have to get to the back anyway. We have enemy tanks approaching. I don't see why we would do that. We had a pretty solid... Def oh my god, give me a sec, boys. You're making me do all the work and telling me to go do things. Um, give me this. Well, I suck. No, no, I hit it. 
Alright, that one's gone. Whatever. We suck. Javelin's in the barn. That's what they yelled multiple times. Let's go get the javelin. So, the javelin's in the barn. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said that a lot. I don't really know, like... Where the hell we got a javelin? Because I guarantee the people we're fighting didn't have it. Where the hell did they get tanks in? Where did they bring the tanks in from? Please go above the barn. Fantastic. Oh, let me up. Let me up. For some reason, the weapon they keep giving me is the G36 for the SAS. I am not an expert, but the SAS generally don't like the G36 that much. I guess it's an alternative for like the SA80 because the SA80 is like known to be garbage, and they probably didn't get the licensing to put it in this game. That'd be my best guess. support if there's all right this is where we cheese we airstrike in front of us then while they're doing that we smoke our advance and then once we get past this white fence we're actually good to go This is how you cheese it on veteran, all right? That tank died there, unfortunate. You cheese it on veteran, generally there aren't going to be people like here, but you cheese it on veteran just by running left and going this way. It is by far the easiest way to get down the hill. Like I said, there are going to be people here that aren't going to be here on, like, veteran. That's a weird nade. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. But once you get in this building, like on the retreat and everything, they don't bother you. Like, I know that looks super easy because I'm on Recruit, <laughs> just trying to get a good, like, story-based run of the game, but... Oh, I went to the wrong building. I mean, it still applies. You see how easy the transition from that building to this building was? It's the same. It's the same concept. I just completely... Just didn't realize I was at the wrong building, but... It is what it is. Yeah, that's the way you beat the game on Veteran. Whenever you have more brain activity and you don't stop at the wrong building, it's, it's just as easy, I promise. It's how I always beat this mission. And then you can get on as soon as the QRF team gets off, so... Once you get into the helicopter, you're safe. And in we go. Little brain-dead hiccup on my part aside, yeah, if you play this on Veteran, I promise it works the exact same way. That might be information to some of you that might not be new information, because this game is 17 years old, but... Hashtag knowledge is power. 